So what is up everyone this is Kiran here welcome back to Tech Kiran YouTube channel this one is the MIUI TR version based on MIUI 12.5 the latest China beta 21.3.3 I've installed it on my Redmi Note 9 Pro a me a tool device and this is a unified build and it's supported for all those four devices Redmi Note 9 Pro Redmi Note 9S Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and Poco M2 Pro and the thing is it has a unified vendor so installation is quite simple but I'll still show you the installation it also has a fix for that kind of thing which is bluetooth which i'm going to share with you in this video first of all let's get started let's find out some things about this build as you can see i've installed it on my device and the icon pack which you can see here is the default one i haven't applied any kind of icon pack here right now i have also installed some apps there which is looking quite good and the smoothness it's sector doesn't seems to be bad i didn't saw any kind of lags and using from past 24 hours and feeling full satisfied here as you can see app opening app closing animations are quite good and as you can see these are the icons which i get pre-installed and you don't need to install any kind of custom icon packs but yes if you want you can also use them it's just up to you but by default the icon pack is already customized you can simply move on to the wallpapers and personalization section where you can simply check out the icons you can customize the icon size from here you don't see the icon pack option right now in this option but yes icons can be customizable very easily through the themes app which is available there if you open the themes app you will see the option to customize icons if you want to we have the fonts customizations we have the wallpapers options and let me show you the super wallpapers options which i got to know the geometry far away rings home etc all the super wallpapers are not working but this noe peaks wallpaper is perfectly working fine so all those four wallpapers apps are not working but this wallpaper app is working perfectly fine as you can see it's just working good this is a super wallpaper let me show you by going into my lock screen once let me just lock my device once and then unlock and then you will see that it's kind of a super wallpaper and this is as you can see it's a super wallpaper which is working perfectly fine it's just up to you if you want to use it or if you don't want to use it you can use some stable wallpapers it also includes some stable wallpapers by going to wallpapers and personalization you'll get them here we have the icons always on display a lot of customizations i try to install a custom icon pack here if we have the option to customize the icons and icons plus wallpaper i've tried to apply the icons only and as you can see the icons are applied successfully so it's just up to you if you want to apply the custom icon pack without the need of installing any custom launcher it also comes with the app drawer support but i haven't applied any app drawer option right now i am using the classic layout the old layout but you can use if you want to if you're looking for other things which I liked about this build, one of the things includes the safety net status. The safety net status is passing without any issue, especially in my Redmi Note 9 Pro, it's just working perfectly fine. I'm able to use the banking apps without any kind of issues and also one of the best thing is it doesn't require any kind of magic hide options. Yes, you need magic hide, of course, you can simply move on to settings and you can hide that. But if it is not working for you, in my case, it's not, it does not have any kind of issues. I can use this magic without any kind of issues the safeness it is is passing without any fault without any issues like that if you move on to the google play store if you go for the settings option you can see the device is certified so everything seems to be good till now i saw a lot of improvements in this build so it's just good it also includes some customization features which i'm gonna share with you later on stay tuned if you're still watching this video then it's quite good and great this one is a MIUI 12.5 base, so yes, MIUI 12.5 volume slider options are also there, which are working quite good. But the uh, colors, etc., are can cannot be customizable, which I just saw kind of a lack of feature, you can say. But the thing which I saw about great about this build is on the camera. The camera includes a lot of features. It has new camera where it includes a 48 megapixel short video vlog mode, panorama, as you can see, time lapse. It has the clone option, it has the stickers avatars which, which are quite good and amazing. You can customize whatever you want to do. You can simply edit this very easily by just clicking here, click on edit option, you can customize these things. 
and uh, one of the best things about this Mio T T R build is its camera. I saw a lot of features in this camera. It's working great with my face. So I tried that. I tested that. It's just working perfectly fine. It has some features which are not working, which I tried to use. Not sure about the vlog mode and clone mode. I don't know if they are working or not. But this sticker option is just working great. Just working flawlessly, and you can use it on your device if you want to. There are a lot of features available in this sticker in this camera. App. So if you want to use this camera app on your device, uh, you can simply use this build, which is a MIUI TR, a China-based build, which can be installable very easily. You don't need any specific things for there. You don't need any kind of extra vendor and etc. Yes, you need a firmware file, but it's not necessary for me. It's just booted without any firmware. I'll show you my installation steps, but if it is not working for you, we can install the firmware. It's just up to you. Let me show you by going into some other things. As I previously told you, this is the wallpapers and personalization section. If you move on to the lock screen, we have the unread notification and power menu options. Two extra options are available in the lock screen settings and like that. If you move on to the display, we have the call brightness and night call brightness. Two extra options available here and there. So as I previously told you, it comes with some customization features which I am sharing right now. Including that if you move on to some other things, for example, sound and vibration has the same new 12.5 UI. But it also includes the sound assistant, which I am not sure if it is working or not. Because sound assistant is just great in MIUI in actually Android version 11, but this is Android version 10. Maybe it will work for you, maybe it will not work for you. In the additional settings, I saw some options like the charge sound options, low battery tone settings and time setting sounds. These are the some extra sounds which you can enable or disable very easily. And like that, it also have the haptic feedback customizations. You can simply adjust that haptic feedback level. It's just up to you. You can simply increase the vibration strength or you can simply decrease the vibration strength. It's just up to you. In the sound effects, I saw a bug which I'm not sure but yes, it's kind of a bug for me. If you click on equalizer, it's just not opening. If you go again, click this, it will show you the earphones keep stopping. So the equalizer in this sound effects is not working for me. Maybe it will not work for you either. Notifications and control center includes those same features, the notification shade and app notifications, control center style which you can simply adjust. Turn off the control center card. What is this option? Let me show you once. If I turn on my control center once, you can see the mobile data tile is there. The data usage tile is no more. So if you need data usage tile, it's available there by default. If you don't need that, you can simply turn off. So this is a kind of a customization feature for the control center. I like that if you go for the status bar customization, it also includes this status bar layout, which is not working. Actually, the default one is the normal one, which you already know. I tried to use the AVSP one, which was not working. Center clock was not working. So this is the thing which is not working also. Color notification icons, etc. But the oval battery option is working, as you can see in the latest Mio 12.5 the change they change that battery indicator but oval battery indicator is just perfectly working fine it's just up to you if you want to use smart home etc some other options which were expected control center location which you can simply adjust with between the right side or the left side and also including that if you move on to home screen it also comes with some little bit of extra customizations with the default launcher the standard options also include the app vault and system navigation the arrange items in recents the same features which you get in all those rooms but the thing is it comes with advanced features if you want to use them it's just up to you these were the things i just wanted to let you know how you can install this build on your device let me show you some required files which are required to install this build okay let me just share with you these are two files which are actually necessary but one file which i haven't downloaded and haven't installed on my device which is called firmware so if the device is not booting for you you can try installing firmware but i'm not sure and i haven't tried the firmware yet so that's why i'm not gonna install that firmware on my device but if it is not booting for you you can try installing firmware and also the firmware depends upon which device you're using as it's a mere tool bill so if you're using cortana you can try the cortana firmware if you're using joy use make sure to use the joy use firmware and like that same with the poco m2 pro and same with other device which is gram which is gram which is a poco m2 pro device so it's just up to you
in my case i'm using twrp here and of course as always i will tell you to use orange fox custom recovery in my case i haven't installed the orange fox custom recovery yet so that's why dalvik cache and only dalvik data and cache dalvik cache data or whatever else you want to do i don't think so it requires internal storage but it will in, it will in um, it will wipe internal storage if you are encrypted like me so swipe to wipe just click on install option click on miui tr the rom file which is required click on swipe to confirm flash it will take some time to flash on your device so stay tuned for that and after that you need to click on wipe option click on format data y e s and okay as i previously told you if it is not booting for you you can try installing the firmware but it's not necessary only if it is not booting for you like that after that what you need to do is just reboot to custom recovery once again you need to install this unified vendor without any kind of wipes this is a fix for the bluetooth if it if bluetooth is not working for you click on swipe to confirm flash and you can simply just reboot after that if you want to this was all awesome for this video i hope you like this thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day